Welcome, citizens. Chad Arias here. This is uh, another in my voice pack series. Um, this is in regards to supporting the DCR DCS SRS client. It's a radio client that's used uh, often by players in DCS. However, there is <clears throat> a. Uh, a website and a DCS server that someone made specifically for a star citizen called srs-citizen.app. Uh, and uh, let me just show it to you real quick. So they, they show you how to set it up and stuff. Their instructions could be a little bit more clear, but uh, overall, they do a pretty good job of how to install it. And um, they have a cool frequency allocation system that you can use. So, you know, they've got some defaults set for locations uh, and emergencies, but they've got, you know, all these open frequencies. <clears throat> so if you have an org, you know, hop on. Uh, hop onto this website and uh, check it out. Um, Discord leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to radio communications, especially when you've got a hierarchy. Um, you know, if you're doing a large app and you've got a lot of different groups. You know, once you get more than <clears throat> maybe six to eight people on a on a single voice channel it starts to get really, really chaotic. And it's hard to hear important things. So, srs-citizen.app, that could really help you work. You could still do, you know, basic chatting and stuff on Discord, but I'm trying to work with my org assemble if you're interested in joining. Link's in the description. Um, <clears throat> we're, chill, we're chill and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, our motto is kind of like, um, you know, don't be a jerk. So we like players of all kinds that love all the parts of the game. Uh, we kind of do it all. Uh, anyways. Uh, so, so this is the SRS client that I've got running here. It is connected to the SRS citizen uh, uh, server and <clears throat> there is um, a this button here that turns on external AWAX mode and then there's a toggle AWAX overlay that's what this is if you were playing in DCS this could automatically integrate into your ship into your you know in, into the into the airplane that you're using but uh, we don't have that, so we're, we're using AWAX. And all of these, these 10 uh, radios can be tuned individually to different, different things. So 100 is general, goes to everyone <laughs> who has the, a radio set to it. Uh, and then there's a general emergency channel. There's a, a ship intercom that you can um, increment and choose for your ship. And then there's location-based stuff, and um, there's they, they provide um, uh, text files that allow you to just kind of drop this down and say, oh, you know, let's all everyone that's in uh, Hurston, you know, we do Hurston, right? Um, you'll notice that Stanton is the same as uh, as this panel over here, and so so things that that you see that may have this drop down, you can you can change. <clears throat> um, what else? Uh, I, there, there's, there's a lot of stuff. I, I can't make this a tutorial. I'm just going to show you that there's a controls thing and there are, uh, in order to get these voice commands to work, there are certain uh, keyboard bindings that you need to make. So the first one is to set uh, radio one which is, if you see here, there's a modifier and there's a, a, a button, you know, just a regular button. So this is uh, control backslash. So control backslash selects radio one. 
and then way down here you'll see uh radio channel no radio yes select next radio so this is set to control right bracket uh select previous uh radio uh i also have set to uh you know right control left bracket uh but i actually don't use that in the macro itself <clears throat> Uh, the macro, uh, which I will show you here, is pretty simple. Uh, actually, I no, we won't worry about that. But uh, you can say just channel one through ten. You can say select channel one through ten. You can say select radio channel one through ten. You can say radio uh, channel one through ten. So I, I like to have it boiled down to its simplest form, which is channel, you know, channel five for channel five, channel six, for channel six. Um, and it just grabs that number. Uh, it converts it to an integer value. Uh, it says back what it is so that you get a visual or a, an audio response. Um, and then <clears throat> it uh, uh, sets it to channel one. And then if it's not the number one, then uh, it uh, does a loop with the uh, the uh, select next radio the number of times it needs to to get to that specific number. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, so I've got, let's say I'm on uh, the emergency channel. And I want to I want to go to my my works public channel, which I always set to uh, radio six. So I just need to tell Ava to do that. Ava, channel six. Channel six. So there you see the the, the little select radio buttons. It went to one, and then it boom 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 boom, boom right up to channel six. And there you go. That's it. Uh, enjoy everyone. Uh, go download my all my uh, commands and macros. Link is in the description, and I hope you all have a great week. Bye.